The most essential piece of kit for a runner of any level is their shoes. And in today's video, not only are we going to be talking about running shoes, we're also going to talk about how to build a shoe rotation, why you might want a shoe rotation, as well as my top picks for each category of running shoe. For anyone new here, my name's Dan. I recently ran my first ever marathon in a time of three hours and 20 minutes. And I post videos here every single week about running, life, and all the things that come in between. If that's some Something you're interested in consider hitting the subscribe button but without further ado sit back and enjoy the video now all the timestamps are linked below if you want to skip between different parts of the video but first things first what is a shoe rotation and why should you consider getting one well to put it simply a shoe rotation is when you wear a different pair of shoes based on the type of session or run that you're doing that day for example the shoes that you wear for your recovery runs aren't going to be the same pair of shoes that you wear for your speed or tempo sessions. But why would someone like yourself want to have a shoe rotation? Well firstly a shoe rotation can help to prevent injury as experts say running in a shoe which is tailored to the type of session you're doing is actually going to have a much healthier impact on your joints and bones compared to a shoe that isn't. And to second this running in different shoes can actually help to strengthen your feet. The reason for this is the different soles provide a different level of support for all the major parts of your foot. Having a shoe rotation rotation can also help to improve your running economy and performance simply by wearing the correct pair of shoes for the session that you're doing. For faster paced sessions and races it's no surprise that the carbon and nylon plated shoes are going to be the first choice for these marginal gains. But on the flip side a max cushion recovery shoe is going to help keep the impact on your joints and bones to a complete minimum to help your body recover for the harder sessions to come. And finally having a running shoe rotation is a great way to keep yourself motivated whilst running and give yourself another excuse to get out the door and try a different pair of shoes. Now like everything in the 21st century, running shoes don't come cheap and that is exactly why you should build your shoe rotation over time rather than trying to buy three pairs at once and declaring bankruptcy in the process. My best advice is to start by buying a pair of shoes that is going to help you in all areas of your running and then buy more specific shoes after that as and when you feel you need to. So the first category of shoes we're going to cover in this video are the shoes you'd ideally wear for your easy and recovery runs. These shoes are probably going to be used for the majority of your training and take up a good chunk of your weekly mileage. Shoes that fall into this category are usually super cushioned with around 40 millimeters worth of stack height and this is so that you can absorb all the impact that comes with running. This means you can continue to put more miles onto your legs without battering your joints and bones in the process. So in terms of recommended shoes straight off the bat I'm going to recommend the Nike Invincible 3 as this is quite possibly my favorite running shoe to ever exist. It's packed with a super thick Zoom X foam sole which absorbs all of the running impact we spoke about earlier and when I run in these shoes I genuinely feel like my legs can go forever. Some other notable mentions within this category include the ASICS Nova Blast 4s which are pretty much the exact same shoe as the Invincible 3s but they come at a slightly lower price point. And then on the other end of the spectrum we have the On Cloud Monster Hypers which are one of the most cushioned shoes you can currently buy but they also come with a pretty staggering price point of £210. Right, moving on to shoes that you'd ideally want to be wearing for your speed and tempo sessions. These are all shoes which are going to give you the maximum energy return and help to improve your overall running efficiency. One key factor of near enough every single shoe in this category is they're going to feature either a nylon or a carbon plate within their sole to give you that maximum energy return. This is because the energy used to bend the sole of the shoe is stored within the plate and then propelled back into the runner's foot when the sole of the shoe returns to its original state. Now my first recommendation for a pair of speed shoes is going to be the Nike Vaporfly 3s and I enjoy doing my speed sessions that much that I actually got myself a second pair. They have a full length carbon fiber plate running throughout the sole of the shoe and they also have 40 millimeters worth of stack height to give you the maximum energy return as well as the maximum running efficiency. Some other strong contenders within the speed shoe category include the Socony Endorphin Speed 3s as well as the newer Speed 4s and also the Adidas Adios Pro 3s. All of these shoes feature full length plates within their soles and are going to help you get the absolute 
most out of your speed sessions by giving you that maximum energy return. Up next, we've got some of the most expensive shoes of the entire video, and they better be worth it as these are the shoes you'd wear for race day. Now the lines between race day shoe and tempo shoe are very blurred, and 90% of the time, the shoes can be put into either category and still be a great pick. However, race day trainers do tend to be slightly more aggressive when it comes to the running economy and the energy return. However, because of this, they do lack the comfort and support you'd get in the shoes that you'd wear in your training. Like I say, the lines are very blurred and at this point, it should really be about you knowing what's best for you and what's going to help you get that all important PB. However, in terms of recommendations, starting off the list, we have got the Nike Alpha Fly 3s. Is it Nike or is it Nike? This is Nike's newest iteration of their super shoe, coming in with a staggering price point of £284.99p. Like I say, it better be worth it. Now, Socony also make a quote-unquote super shoe in the form of the Endorphin Elites, which also come in with a price point of £280. And if you're still in the mood for something different, then New Balance also have a super shoe on their roster in the form of the Super Comp Elite V4s, which are guaranteed to be turning heads when you rock up to the start line. If you're honestly thinking about investing this much money into a pair of race day shoes, then please do your thorough research first to definitely find the pair of shoes that's right for you and is going to give you that 1% boost come race day. And for the final section of this video, we've got daily trainers, which are shoes that are great all-rounders and can handle the majority of sessions you throw at them. They're also great shoes to wear for cross training as they usually feature a much less aggressive stack height and have a much more neutral fit. Now, my first recommendation for this group of shoes is, of course, going to be the Nike Pegasus lineup. Any variation of the Pegasus from the 37s all the way up to the brand new 41s are going to be a great daily trainer for you. They have a super good lifespan and as I said before they're a great choice for cross training and just daily wear and tear and your daily mileage. And I've heard they can even handle a speed session here or there. New Balance also have two great choices when it comes to daily trainers. Their Fresh Foam series and their Fuel Cell Rebel series are both great choices that will get you through pretty much every single daily session. The good thing about daily trainers is they usually come at a much more reasonable price point, which means they're a great shoe to either start with or one that you can add in right at the end when you want to start bringing in more gym work. Now, running shoe rotations aren't for everyone and you definitely shouldn't feel pressured into buying more shoes just because people on the internet tell you to do so. Wait, isn't that me? But if you're someone who's looking to set a new PB at your next race or wants to start taking their training more seriously, then having a shoe rotation and the right shoes for your sessions is going to make a massive difference. Take me for example, I absolutely love my Invincible 3s to the point I used to wear them for every single session with the exception of races. However, the moment I started using the Vaporfly 3s for all my speed and tempo sessions, the sessions instantly started to feel easier and the time my body needed to recover actually got reduced. And sure part of this could have been down to the weeks of training I'd done prior but changing my shoes definitely made a drastic change to how each session felt. Like I said earlier in the video do your research into finding the pair of shoes that is going to be right for you and if you've got a local running shop maybe pop down to get your gait analysed and make sure that it is definitely the right fit for you and you're not going to have any issues issues with them once you've invested. And while I think about it, let me know in the comments your favourite running shoes for each type of session because as you've seen from this video, I am very much a Nike fanboy and would absolutely love to try out some other shoes and maybe even do some reviews on this channel of them. Anyways, that's all from me today. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like as it genuinely means the absolute world to me. And if you want to see more videos just like this every single week, then maybe consider hitting that subscribe button whilst you're down there. I hope you all have a smashing day and I'll catch you all next Saturday at 6 p.m. No bad days! And they best be worth it as these are the shoes you'd ideally wear for... Ra <laughs>